The Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy plan is standing on the cusp of a revolution in naval warfare. Its third aircraft carrier, the Fujian, is undergoing rigorous sea trials for an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, a technology previously thought exclusive to the U.S. Navy. Now, while many see this as a potential game-changer, few truly grasp the depth of its implications. Today, we're going beyond the headlines to explore how Fujian is changing China's naval strategy. On August 29, 2023, China marked a monumental moment in naval history with the launch of Fujian, its third aircraft carrier. This wasn't just a routine commissioning. Fujian is China's first aircraft carrier built from the ground up with cutting-edge technology. And it's laying claim to the future of naval warfare with its electromagnetic aircraft launch system. This innovation is set to redefine how fighter jets take off from aircraft carriers. Why is it a game changer? What impact will it have on regional stability? And what challenges does it pose for the US Navy? Join us as we unpack the details behind this technological marvel. What makes the Fujian truly remarkable is its planned integration of the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMALS for short. This sophisticated system represents a quantum leap from the traditional steam-powered catapults found on most modern carriers, including China's previous Liaoning and Shandong vessels. EMALS holds the potential to transform naval aviation by enabling carriers to launch a wider variety of aircraft faster, more frequently and from a standstill. Ow! At the heart of EMALS lies a linear induction motor that uses electromagnetic force to accelerate aircraft down the carrier deck. Unlike steam catapults, EMALS offers precise control over the launch sequence. It can tailor the acceleration curve based on the specific requirements of each aircraft type, ensuring smoother, safer takeoffs. This not only reduces stress on both the aircraft and crew, but also paves the way for launching heavier payloads and drones. But why is this technology so significant? Think of your standard ski jump ramp on carriers like Liaoning and Shandong. Due to their shape and function, Aircraft taking off from these carriers have to shed weight, either by leaving behind key equipment or flying with reduced ammunition and fuel. Ski jumps limit the angle of takeoff, forcing aircraft to expend precious energy climbing to optimal operational altitudes and speeds. EMALS eliminates this drawback, allowing planes to take off fully fueled and fully armed. This means longer range missions, heavier payload capacity and more frequent sorties, dramatically increasing a carrier's offensive punch. The benefits don't stop there. EMAILS also paves the way for fixed-wing airborne early warning and control aircraft, AEWNC. Unlike helicopters currently used for this role, fixed-wing platforms offer numerous advantages. They fly higher, stay airborne longer, and provide broader radar coverage. With EMALS, carriers can deploy larger aircraft such as the KJ-7A, Shangxi or the KJ-6A600 early warning planes. These platforms boast detection ranges of over 400 kilometers. They can simultaneously track multiple targets and relay crucial information across vast distances, revolutionizing command and control capabilities. In essence, EMAILS transforms a carrier into a versatile platform capable of diverse roles and missions. It enables China to operate a wider range of fixed-wing assets, enhancing overall operational efficiency and effectiveness. The impact on the South China Sea is profound. With the ability to launch heavier payloads, China can deploy surveillance drones equipped with advanced sensors, conduct intelligence gathering operations, and monitor activities across a broader area. The increased sortie rates and precision targeting offered by emails allow for more effective territorial surveillance and response to potential threats. Fixed-wing AEWNC platforms enhance situational awareness enabling China to detect and track vessels over a much larger area. 
This advancement in maritime surveillance strengthens China's position in the region and underscores its growing naval capabilities. Now, you might wonder why this development poses a challenge to the US Navy. Well, the answer lies in emails itself. Up until now, the US Navy has held a technological edge with its electromagnetic aircraft launch system, which was first developed over 20 years ago. However, China's successful implementation of emails brings this technology within reach of other nations, potentially shifting the balance of power. The US Navy, with its advanced carrier-based fighter jets like the F-A-18 Super Hornet and the fifth-generation F-A-XX, relies heavily on these sophisticated platforms. But what if adversaries could match these capabilities? The prospect of other navies fielding similar fighter jets capable of taking off from aircraft carriers poses a challenge to the US Navy's long-standing technological advantage. In a hypothetical conflict, this could lead to a scenario where American carriers face opposition from jets with comparable capabilities, potentially escalating the risk of confrontation. Let's take the Chinese J-35 fighter jet as an example. The J-35 boasts advanced stealth features designed to evade enemy radar detection, making it particularly suitable for carrier-based operations. With the Fujian's email system, the J-35 can take off fully loaded, maximizing its stealth capabilities and attack potential. This development raises concerns about the vulnerability of the US Navy's carrier-based aircraft in contested airspace. As China advances its naval capabilities, the US Navy must continuously invest in research and development to maintain its technological edge and ensure the safety of its valuable carrier assets. As we delve deeper into the details of the Fujian, another intriguing aspect comes to the forefront, its compatibility with a new generation of Chinese fighter jets. Specifically, the Fujian is rumored to be compatible with the J-35, a twin-engine stealth fighter jet developed by China. The J-35, which made its first flight in 2018, is designed to meet the unique demands of carrier-based operations. Its compact size and advanced technologies make it ideal for use on aircraft carriers. The synergy between the Fujian and the J-35 is expected to enhance China's naval capabilities, allowing for more efficient and effective maritime operations. But the story doesn't end there. The Fujian is also believed to be compatible with another noteworthy aircraft, the KJ-7A. This advanced airborne early warning and control plane plays a crucial role in providing aerial surveillance and command capabilities. The KJ-7A's integration with the Fujian would further strengthen China's naval prowess, enabling comprehensive maritime domain awareness. The advancements continue with the inclusion of China's most advanced S-band, multifunction, active electronically scanned array radar, the D-band. This cutting-edge radar system offers enhanced detection capabilities tracking performance and target discrimination, significantly boosting the Fujian's overall effectiveness. However, the path to this technological milestone hasn't been without its challenges. Fujian's construction, which began in June 2018, has faced numerous setbacks, including material shortages, design modifications, and complex system integration. Despite these hurdles, the vessel was finally commissioned in July 2023, marking a significant achievement for China's shipbuilding industry. With a displacement of approximately 80,000 tons, Fujian is not only China's largest aircraft carrier, but also among the biggest globally. Its sheer size enables the carrier to accommodate a larger complement of aircraft, extending its operational range and endurance. The ship is equipped with an integrated electric propulsion system, advanced automation technologies, and a comprehensive combat management system, reflecting China's significant strides in naval engineering and technology. Despite these impressive capabilities, it's important to note that the Fujian still faces the formidable challenge of conducting at-sea trials. 
These trials, which commenced in May 2024, are crucial for verifying the ship's performance, stability, and readiness for active service. Only after rigorous testing and validation can the Fujian be considered fully operational and contribute to China's naval capabilities. In conclusion, the Fujian stands as a testament to China's remarkable progress in naval shipbuilding and technology. Its introduction alongside the J-35 fighter jet and the KJ-7A airborne early warning aircraft signifies a new era in China's maritime capabilities. The successful integration of emails adds to the vessel's allure, making it one of the most advanced aircraft carriers in the world. However, the journey from commissioning to full operational capacity is a demanding one. As China navigates the challenges of at-sea trials and system integration, the Fujian's true potential will be realized, whether on the tranquil waters of the East China Sea or the strategic South China Sea. The Fujian serves as a potent symbol of China's growing naval power and its commitment to safeguarding national interests. What do you think about China's Fujian? Do you think emails is a game-changer? Will it alter the balance of power in the Asia-Pacific? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We value your opinions and encourage lively discussions. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe for more updates on fascinating topics.